Actress Billy Whitelaw was well known for her amazing performances, leaving a strong impression on acting. One of her most important works was Insert Work, where she showed her incredible talent and ability to play different roles. Many people first saw her in Insert First Work, a role that immediately grabbed their attention. What people remember most about her is Insert Most Special Memory or Personal Experience. Share your stories and memories below. We'll explore the funny, surprising, and touching parts of her life and career in this video. Keep watching for more insights. Billy Whitelaw left a lasting impression on the film industry and beyond. She influenced Hollywood through her outstanding performances and dedication to cinema, captivating audiences and fellow actors alike. On screen, her ability to embody diverse characters added depth to the films she starred in, showcasing her acting prowess across a range of roles, from dramatic to comedic. Whitelaw's versatility made her a source of inspiration for aspiring actors, emphasizing the importance of dedication and skill in the craft. Her collaborations with directors and actors helped raise the quality of the films she was part of, contributing to the broader film community. Beyond her acting talent, Whitelaw advocated for diversity and representation on screen, playing a role in shaping the industry and paving the way for greater inclusion. Billy Whitelaw's influence on Hollywood was profound, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. Her talent, dedication, and advocacy left an enduring mark on the film industry. Billy Whitelaw, known for her role as Mrs. Baylock in The Omen, brought a distinct touch to the character. Originally conceived as a warm Irish nanny, the dialogue transformed during her audition, giving the character a cold and slightly sinister demeanor, a departure from the original vision that ultimately made it to the film. In her personal life, Whitelaw had two stepdaughters, Claire and Sophie, from her husband Robert's first marriage. Claire was born in 1962, followed by Sophie in 1964. These stepdaughters became part of her family, linking her to a broader familial context beyond her acting career. During the last four years of her life, she resided at Denville Hall, a retirement home in Northwood, London, specifically designed for theatrical professionals. This period marked a different phase for her, as she lived in a community tailored to the unique needs and experiences of those in the performing arts. In conclusion, her influence extended beyond the screen as she brought a unique touch to roles and embraced family life with her stepdaughters. Her time at Denville Hall reflected a thoughtful choice for her retirement, aligning with her theatrical background. Billy Whitelaw, a talented actress, had a sister who was married. In the movie The Punch and Judy Mann, Sylvia Sims replaced her. But in The Omen, there was some discussion among the producers and Richard Donner about her role as Mrs. Baylock. They weren't sure if they should keep the character because it made the movie less suspenseful. Mrs. Baylock was very obviously evil, which took away the mystery. However, Richard Donner liked Billy Whitelaw's acting so much that they decided to keep her in the role. He thought she added depth to the character, making the movie more interesting. Even though Mrs. Baylock was clearly bad, Billy Whitelaw managed to give her some interesting qualities that made her character memorable. Her presence in the movie made it scarier. Audiences and critics loved her performance. She really made Mrs. Baylock seem evil, and her acting made the movie better. This piece was... Billy Whitelaw, who graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, started her acting journey at 11 years old. She debuted on radio as Henry Bones in BBC's Children's Hour. Later, in 1950, she appeared on stage for the first time at the Bradford Civic Playhouse in Pink String and Sealing Wax. Aside from acting, she was also a member of the Society of Friends, revealing another side of her life. Her early exposure to performing arts set the stage for her future career. Moving from radio to stage marked the beginning of a path that would shape the industry for years to come. Starting out simply, she showed dedication to her craft, paving the way for her success. In summary, Billy Whitelaw's roots in R.E.H.D.A. and her early experiences in radio and stage highlight the humble beginnings of her acting career. Her involvement in the Society of Friends adds depth to her life beyond acting. Billy Whitelaw's achievements in acting speak to her talent and dedication. Billy Whitelaw, a famous actress, made some important choices during her career. In 1975, she decided to quit smoking, showing how determined she was to stay healthy. This decision not only showed her personal strength, but also how much she cared about her health for her job as an actress. 
1970, she was a judge at the Berlin International Film Festival, showing how much she was involved in the movie world beyond just acting. Being part of such a big event showed that she was really committed to movies and was seen as a serious professional. She was praised by Samuel Beckett, who called her the perfect actress. Getting such high praise from a famous playwright like Beckett showed just how talented and dedicated she was. It proved that she was really good at becoming different characters in a believable way which impressed audiences and left a big mark on theater and film. Billy Whitelaw's impact on acting is still remembered today as she continues to inspire new actors. Her achievements in acting are still talked about and she's known for being really good at what she did. Her journey, marked by important decisions and the respect of others, shows just how talented she was and how much she influenced acting. Billy Whitelaw met her husband, Robert Muller, at a party hosted by Bob Monkhouse. She described their connection as calm and quiet, knowing instantly he would be the father of her child. She never doubted it. She holds the title of associate member of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. She divides her time between her apartment in London Hampstead and her cottage in Suffolk. Billy Whitelaw leads a life split between London Hampstead and Suffolk, and her relationship with her husband Robert Muller began at a party thrown by Bob Monkhouse, where she felt an immediate understanding of their future together. As an associate member of RAHDA, she's firmly entrenched in the world of theater and continues to navigate her personal and professional life with grace and determination. In The Omen, Mrs. Baylock, played by Billy Whitelaw, faced challenges both on and off the set. During filming, she dealt with her co-star, Harvey Stevens, who was difficult to work with. Despite his behavior, she remained professional, showing her dedication to acting. During production, there was a strange incident where Whitelaw tried to avoid filming. Feeling frustrated, she called the production office to delay her scenes, but couldn't reach anyone. She had to continue with the schedule, showing her commitment to the project. Whitelaw's talent and dedication were recognized, and in 1991, she received the CBE for her work in drama. These incidents reveal the challenges actors face behind the scenes and highlight White Law's resilience. Her ability to overcome obstacles while staying professional shows her dedication to acting. This story reflects the trials and triumphs of a seasoned performer in the world of filmmaking. Known for her memorable performances in various movies, she lived with playwright Robert Muller, and they had a son named Matthew. It's interesting to note that Matthew's home appeared briefly in the popular film Shaun of the Dead, which influenced her decision to join the cast of Hot Fuzz. In The Omen, she played the scary character Mrs. Baylock, a role later taken on by Mia Farrow in the 2006 remake. Mia acknowledged the terror evoked by the original portrayal, but was surprised at the idea of hiring such a nanny. Billy's lasting impact on the film industry remains significant with her work forever remembered in movie history.